Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on forceps delivery. Obstetric forceps are the instrument used in forceps delivery, and the forceps consists of two long blades with the shanks joined together with a lock for a point of traction. And obstetric forceps help in the delivery of the fetus by applying traction to the fetal head. So there are a few components of the forceps where you can see in this picture here. There is the two long blades and the shank connect the blades and the handle. The shank can be overlapping or parallel to each other. And there is the lock that holds the forceps together and the handles to grip the forceps and also apply traction to the fetal head. There are a few types of obstetric forceps which can be divided into non-rotational type and rotational type. So the non-rotational type includes the Simpsons forceps which is in this picture, Wrigley forceps in the second picture at the top, and for rotational forceps, there is the Q-Lens forceps, this picture shown below. So what are the indications for forceps delivery? For example, for maternal indications, if there is maternal distress during labor, maternal exhaustion or poor maternal effort, or if the second stage is prolonged, second stage is from the point of cervical os dilatation 10 cm up to the delivery of the baby. Or if the mother is unable to push efficiently due to cardiac disease, hypertension, or any pulmonary disorders. The fetal indications include fetal distress in the second stage of labor, delivery of after coming head in bridge delivery, a premature baby, face presentation or malposition of the baby. We might need the forceps delivery. These are some of the prerequisites that we have to make sure before doing forceps delivery. So the mnemonic is F-R-R-C-E-P-S, which is forceps. So we have to make sure the cervical os is fully dilated and the presentation is occiput anterior or occiput posterior, the position, ruptured membrane, the baby must sink cephalic presentation, excluded cephalopelvic disproportion, and had the mother's consent. E is make sure the empty bladder and also epistotomy is done for forceps delivery. P for pain relief, which can be through pudendal block, epidural or general anesthesia, and also pediatrician on standby. S is for sterilization and also require a skillful operator. So there are some complications that might occur to the mother and to the fetus after this forceps delivery. So because we need to deliver the fetal head using the forceps, then for the mother, there might be vagina, perineum, and cervical tear. It might also cause a third degree tear and also extension for episiotomy. Uterine rupture, bruising and trauma to the organs such as bladder and urethra, causing painful micturition and hematuria, or there might be bleeding from the lacerations. Whereas fetal complications include bruising of the head, facial palsy is an unwanted complication, orbital injury, fracture of the skull due to excessive compression, might cause cord compression, and also facial and scalp laceration or abrasion. So that's all for this video. Thank you.